Ladies and gentlemen, what do you get when you take two of the actors from Pitch Perfect and two of the actors from Dirty Grandpa and put them together in a movie? Well, you get Mike and Dave need wedding dates. Anna Kendrick and Adam Devine from Pitch Perfect star in this movie with Aubrey Plaza and Zac Efron from Dirty Grandpa. Now, in the movie, Adam Devine and Zac Efron play brothers. Brothers who know how to have a good time. In fact, any time they're together at a family function, debauchery and craziness ensues. Well, their little sister is about to get married and the parents are like, nope, you can't come to the wedding unless you bring wedding dates. Because that's going to tame them. So they decide that in the year 2016, what do you do when you need to find wedding dates? Well, of course you go online. Craigslist, Kijiji, a whole bunch of different sites. But unfortunately, as they're interviewing a cavalcade of crazy ladies, they realize that none of these ladies are good enough to go to their sister's wedding in Hawaii. Well, the next thing you know, they meet two party girls, played by Anna Kendrick and Aubrey Plaza, who've cleaned up their act just long enough to convince the brothers that they should be their wedding dates. And they are. But it isn't long and long after they get to Hawaii that they realize that these two sisters are crazier than they are. And there you have Mike and Dave need wedding dates. Now the interesting thing about this movie is it was stupid funny with the emphasis on stupid. Yes, there are some funny moments in there, but there's also a lot of overacting, like a lot of overacting. There are so many, there are so many moments in this movie that were just too over the top for me. And a lot of that goes to Adam Devine. Now, Adam Devine was hilarious in Pitch Perfect. He was great. But in this movie, not as much. Zac Efron's one of those names that you can throw out and women are going to go and see him, not necessarily whether he's great or not. I found his character in this movie was more so like a spinoff of his character in Neighbors, in Neighbors 2. Aubrey Plaza's great and most of the roles you see her in, she's completely over the top. And Anna Kendrick was somewhat believable as the as the as the crazy party girl, but she some she seemed to morph more into like the Anna Kendrick that we know. Now I mentioned the movies that they were previously in, being Dirty Grandpa and Pitch Perfect. And if you were to line up all three of those movies, you would look at Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates and say this is the one that doesn't belong because it's nowhere near as funny as the other two. I went to this movie with about seven or eight people, and as we were debriefing after. Some of us liked it more than others, and we went to see it on a preview night, and one thing that we all agreed on was that none of us would want to go and pay to see this movie. Usually, that's not a great recipe for a successful movie. Uh, at the end of the day, I give this movie a C-. minus. Not a great movie by any stretch of the imagination. Not the worst movie you're going to see this year, but definitely not something that's worth the full price of admission. Um, if you end up going to see it, I'd love to know what you think. CFL underscore fan on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Witty Whittier and Witty Appreciate you taking the time to check this out. My name is Keith, and I'll see you at the movies.